Did you know that some millipedes can glow under ultraviolet light? Yes, that's right. If you shine a UV flashlight on certain millipedes, their exoskeleton can actually fluoresce. But guess what's even more fascinating than their glow? The vital role they play in your garden's ecosystem. In today's episode of Don't Do This Guide, we're going to reveal why you should not kill millipedes in your garden. Get ready to see your garden from a whole new perspective as we uncover the secret lives of millipedes and understand why they are friends to be welcomed. Often mistaken for insects, millipedes belong to a class of their own called Diplopoda. Their name, derived from Latin, means thousand feet, but most species have far fewer, usually a couple of hundred. These fascinating creatures are not insects, but arthropods, more closely related to lobsters and crabs. Their bodies, segmented and cylindrical, are perfectly designed for their subterranean lifestyle. Each segment, except for the first few and the last one, bears two pairs of legs, allowing them to navigate the complex world of soil and leaf litter with surprising agility. Millipedes are detritivores, which means they feast on decaying organic matter. As they consume this organic detritus, they break it down into even smaller particles, making it more accessible to microorganisms like bacteria and fungi. Think of millipedes as nature's recyclers, transforming waste into valuable nutrients that enrich the soil. Their constant burrowing also aerates the soil, improving drainage and creating spaces for air and water to reach plant roots. So the next time you encounter a millipede in your garden, take a moment to appreciate these tiny architects. Now that we've met the millipede, let's delve deeper into the remarkable benefits they bring to your garden. Millipedes are champions of decomposition, breaking down organic matter and returning vital nutrients to the soil. Imagine the intricate network of tunnels created by millipedes as they navigate through the soil. These tunnels act as miniature aeration systems, improving soil structure and allowing air and water to penetrate deeper, reaching the roots of your plants. Furthermore, the castings, or excrement, of millipedes are rich in nutrients, acting as a natural fertilizer for your garden. These castings release nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, essential elements for plant growth, back into the soil, reducing the need for synthetic fertilizers. Millipedes also play a role in pest control, albeit indirectly. By competing with harmful pests like fungus gnats and root mealybugs for resources, they help to keep their populations in check. Their presence also attracts beneficial predators like ground beetles and centipedes, which feed on a variety of garden pests. So, by welcoming millipedes into your garden, you're fostering a natural pest control system. In our modern world, it's easy to reach for a quick fix, a chemical solution to eliminate anything we deem undesirable in our gardens. But when it comes to millipedes, such actions can have unintended consequences, disrupting the delicate balance of the garden ecosystem. Remember, millipedes are not pests. They are essential contributors to soil health and fertility. Without millipedes diligently breaking down organic matter, the decomposition process slows down. This can lead to a buildup of thatch, a layer of dead plant material that can prevent water and nutrients from reaching the soil. Over time, this can result in compacted soil, poor drainage, and a decline in soil fertility. Furthermore, by removing millipedes, we disrupt the natural balance of predator and prey. Pest populations that were once kept in check by millipedes and their predators may surge, leading to an increase in plant damage. The truth is, a healthy garden thrives on diversity. Instead of viewing them as enemies, we need to recognize their valuable contributions and learn to coexist with them. Millipedes, with their multitude of legs and their preference for dark, damp places, often evoke feelings of fear or disgust. But let's address some common concerns and separate fact from fiction. Firstly, are millipedes harmful to humans or pets? The answer is a resounding no. Unlike their distant relatives, the centipedes, millipedes are not venomous and do not bite. They are gentle creatures that pose no threat to humans or our furry companions. Another common concern is that millipedes will invade homes. While it's true that millipedes may occasionally wander indoors, they are not seeking to take up residence in your home. Simple preventative measures such as sealing cracks and crevices in your home's foundation and ensuring proper drainage around the perimeter can effectively deter millipedes from venturing inside. Now that we've dispelled some common myths about millipedes, let's explore practical ways to coexist harmoniously with these beneficial creatures in our gardens. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate them, 
but to create an environment where both millipedes and your plants can thrive. One of the simplest ways to encourage millipedes is to provide them with suitable habitat. They love moist, dark places rich in organic matter. Therefore, leaving a layer of leaf litter or mulch around your plants not only benefits the soil but also provides a haven for millipedes. Avoid disturbing the soil unnecessarily, as this disrupts their habitat and exposes them to predators. Instead of raking up every fallen leaf, consider creating a designated compost pile where you can deposit yard waste. By creating a welcoming environment for millipedes, you are fostering a healthy and balanced ecosystem in your garden. Prepare to be amazed as we delve into the fascinating world of millipedes and uncover some incredible facts that might just change your perspective on these often misunderstood creatures. Did you know that millipedes are among the oldest land animals on Earth? Fossil evidence suggests that they were among the first creatures to venture out of the water and onto land, predating dinosaurs by millions of years. And remember those glowing millipedes we mentioned earlier. Some species possess the remarkable ability to bioluminesce, emitting their own light through a chemical reaction within their bodies. While millipedes are generally known for their slow, deliberate movements, some species are surprisingly quick and agile. Speaking of legs, despite their name, no known millipede species actually has a thousand legs. The record holder, Alacme plenipes, boasts a staggering 750 legs, which is still an impressive feat of nature. These are just a few of the many fascinating facts about millipedes. Ready to roll out the welcome mat for millipedes and invite them to become valued members of your garden community? Follow these simple steps to create a millipede-friendly haven. Step 1. Embrace organic matter. Millipedes thrive in environments rich in decomposing plant material. Instead of bagging up fallen leaves and grass clippings, consider starting a compost pile or using them as mulch around your plants. Step 2. Minimize soil disturbance. Tilling or turning the soil can disrupt millipede habitat and expose them to predators. Step 3. Provide moisture. Millipedes prefer moist environments. Ensure your garden has adequate moisture retention by using organic mulches and watering deeply but infrequently. Step 4. Create hiding spots. Provide them with ample hiding spots by leaving leaf litter, logs, or rocks scattered throughout your garden. Despite their beneficial nature, millipedes often fall victim to unfounded fears and misconceptions. Let's debunk some of these myths and foster a greater appreciation for these fascinating creatures. Myth 1. Millipedes are poisonous. As we've learned, millipedes do not bite or sting and are not poisonous to humans or pets. Myth 2. Millipedes will damage my plants. Millipedes are detritivores, meaning they primarily feed on decaying organic matter. Myth 3. Millipedes will infest my home. Simple preventative measures, such as sealing cracks and ensuring proper drainage, can deter them from entering. As we've journeyed into the world of millipedes, we've uncovered a deeper truth about gardening. It's not about control, it's about collaboration. It's about understanding the interconnectedness of all living things and working in harmony with nature, not against it. Every creature, from the tiniest millipede to the tallest tree, plays a vital role in the intricate web of life. When we embrace this holistic perspective, we begin to see our gardens not just as collections of plants, but as thriving ecosystems. Instead of reaching for chemical solutions at the first sign of an unwanted visitor, let's pause and ask ourselves, what is this creature's role in this ecosystem? By adopting a more balanced approach to gardening, we create a more resilient, sustainable, and ultimately more rewarding garden. So the next time you encounter a millipede in your garden, take a moment to appreciate its vital role in maintaining a healthy ecosystem. So the next time you see a millipede in your garden, crawling along slowly, minding its own business, remember, don't kill it. It's not a threat, it's an ally. Millipedes contribute to a healthier garden by breaking down organic matter, aerating the soil, and even helping control pests in a minor way. When it comes to keeping your garden naturally fertile and balanced, they're some of the best help you can get. Embrace the millipede and let it continue its ancient work beneath your feet. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel, Don't Do This Guide. Thanks for watching. And remember, when it comes to millipedes in your garden, don't kill them. Let them help you. Stay curious, stay green, and I'll catch you in the next video.